This is quite nice. And Jeremy's a local artist, young, in his 20s still. And he does these miniatures in pencil, pencil, crayon. And I think he's a really fine, fine, fine artist. Me too. Yeah. And uh, some is, hidden Blenderman. Yes, yeah, some beautiful line drawings of Bob. Uh, here I can turn that. <laughs> Now Bob celebrated 50 years of painting last year. Whoa. And he is just still on fire. There's so much beautiful work. Oh, look at that. Bob will have a show here in September with another artist. We call this show coming up Paintings. And there'll be 10 new paintings in his series of Kingston Scenes. So, that's pretty exciting because they're more and more assured in his technique. And these are his pen and ink drawings that he submitted for the summer show. They're so fresh and so well done. Oh. Deft. Aren't they something? Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for the video tour. It's been very good. And uh, anyone can come and see her. And buy like art. And buy art too. Oh, we have some more. I. This is Michael oh, O'Connor. Yes, Michael O'Connor. Just this uh, gallery is full of turns. Yes. Oh, these are fun. Aren't they lovely? I really love how naive they are. Uh, and I'll, I'll just point out the reason that Michael is with us. I love the drawings, but we really love this little bird here. So you can take a good shot of that sweet little birdie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, bird. Oh, that's nice. Oh, here. This is most amazing. This is Ruth Dukas. Oh. And Ruth is remarkable because Ruth is 85 years old. Whoa. And this is one of her newest pieces. That's so beautiful. And she has the most wonderful hand. She studied in the 30s at Central Tech in Toronto and spent her life working in the fashion industry as a designer and illustrator, but clothing designer. But she always maintained this, just this love for line and art. You can see what she does with fabric and with pencil. That's just so fantastic. Mmm, beautiful. I keep using the word fantastic, but it's the only word that describes so much of this. This is Teresa Marjica, who works pointillism. And she works canvas on stretched canvas, um, oil on stretched canvas. And this technique she calls dot is a really meticulous, but very quick. She works really fast as she's going. What she does is she prepares beforehand and knows what she's gonna do and then off she goes. And just really a, a does it. Teresa Morozica. Morozica, Teresa Morozica. Beautiful. Yeah. This one here on the wall over the sculpt. Ooh, that's beautiful. Isn't that something? Kaboom. And then below are pieces of sculpture by Molly McClung, with one piece by Victor Auricchia. But all these pieces are alabaster, marble, soapstone, and dealing with Greek mythology. This one's called Eros. I think it's my absolute favorite out of these. This one's called Hestia Chlorite. I love that. They have an amazing presence. 
This one here is called Hera Soapstone, and it's a beautiful color of green. It's hard against the black light. And this beautiful piece. This is this is um, marble, very hard marble. And this fellow Victor has only done a few pieces, but they're sublime. This is carving. Quite gorgeous. Isn't it? Very crab-like in a way. And then three more Molly McClung's. Mountain soapstone, which is claw-like, very beautiful. And Fallen Angel, which is quite lovely too. And this one is called Night. Probably after the goddess Night. And then we have two more Teresa's. Oh, that one's beautiful. There's a lot of humor in her work. Mm -hmm. And this one is quite lovely too. Symbiosis of fire and water. Symbiosis of earth and air is the one beneath it. Very interesting title. Oh, and there's one more over here. This is one of mine that's one of my kids <laughs> having spaghetti when he, she was very young. My kids asked when I had this show, is that me? And I would always answer, no, 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 that's my favorite job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back there. This is our workshop. We call this the Idea Manufactory. And here we do book production, where we work on different publications, artist catalogs, children's books, book on Oliver Schroer, who just passed away, violinist, and it's all calligraphy. The Wit and Wisdom of Oliver Schroer, and statements by his friends about him. He was a wonderful, wonderful musician, and he passed away last year. This was his last concert. On. And this is these are photographs inside by Peter Kaufman, who's one of our artists, who captured Oliver for most of his life. They were very good friends and collaborators. Excellent. Yeah, it's a beautiful book. This is a book of poetry but that's being worked on right now, so this is just a proof. Half of it's blank. The other is on pa paper I'm choosing for the printing, and I'm just marking it up right now getting it ready and these are poems by uh, Gary Raspberry, who's a local musician and writer. They're quite beautiful poems. I think Gary will be playing at one of the In the Spots coming up. Maybe you should talk about the In the Spots as well. In the Spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. In the Spot is an evening of entertainments where we invite different artists, performers, storytellers, poets, poets onto the stage. And um, it's kind of a way of us uh, expanding our audience so that people who don't necessarily come to art galleries, but they like music, so they can be exposed to art with music and performances. And the main thing with the In the Spot is that we want um, like we want from our artists. We want the experiment. We don't want uh, safe work. We want people to say, well, I'm trying this out. I'm, I'm doing this. And as a result, the evenings, some people might think the evenings are really uneven. But what they really are is that they're pure expression from each person who comes up there. They're telling the truth and exposing themselves for what it is that they're up to. And so that energy is very exciting to be able to be watching. Uh, a lot of musicians that will play it in the spot typically play in bars or at receptions where people are engaged in doing other things. So they're not used to the seasoned performers, people being quiet and actually listening 
to what they're doing. And uh, coming up, there will be some very seasoned musicians who, who will be working with complete experiments. They'll say, well, this is something that we're working on. We don't play this in clubs because no one wants to hear this. <laughs> they want to hear that standard. But here they'll play all sorts of sometimes very difficult music. Last year there was a bass and saxophone doing classical pieces with their sheet music. And, and we were listening to uh, just a totally different kind of thing. And these artists were on the edge, like the young artists who played, who don't play, haven't played maybe ever in public. And for the first time, they're stepping on stage. That's a that's an amazing opportunity for everyone, mm -hmm. for us to watch it and for them to experience it. Absolutely. Both what works and what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And because uh, then they they get a real sense of what what it is that they're actually working on. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you so much for the video tour. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, this will be on my website, so everyone can see it. And uh, so thank you very much. In the heart of Market Square. <laughs> <laughs>